Hello. Okay, so today we're going to talk about five simple natural remedies for cold and sore throat, of which I have both. Okay, so the first thing you do when you wake up with a cold is grab your neti pot. If you don't know what this is, it's a pot that you fill with water and you run the water through your nose to um, help alleviate the congestion. You can get this at a CVS or any regular drugstore. They have them everywhere, especially during the winter. And basically what you do is you fill this up with warm water and you put a packet of salt um, or they, have, they come in these little scoops, these little buckets and scoops of salt, something like this, about this amount of salt. You stir it up and you just tip your head over and put this up one nostril and let the water come out and then blow your nose and then tilt your head the other way, put it up this nostril, let the water come out and blow your nose. And what it will do is really clear your sinuses up and help take a lot of that congestion away. So this morning I woke up with such a bad cold that my head, I thought my head was going to explode. And although you can still hear that congestion, I can actually breathe. So that's really great. And after you're done with the neti pot, you can put a little organic tea tree oil on a Q-tip and run that around the inside of your nostrils and it will help you breathe clearly and also lubricate the nostrils and keep, um, keep the bacteria and stuff out of your nose. So it helps you heal much faster. Now, the second thing to do, and one of my favorites, but least tasty, is to take a garlic clove. This is for a sore throat. So if you wake up with a terrible sore throat, this will work but your breath will stink all day long. <laughs> so if you have any meetings, I would highly suggest some Altoids or something like that. Um, definitely brush your teeth afterward, but it helped immediately eliminate the sore throat. So what you do is you take a clove of garlic and you chop it up. You add a teaspoon of raw honey. You don't want it to be the regular honey that you find in the store. You can find raw honey in the store, but you wanna make sure it is, sorry. That's an alarm on my phone. You wanna make sure that it is raw honey because it has a lot of antibacterial pro um, properties that will help. So, one clove of garlic, one teaspoon of raw honey, and then you're gonna put like a quarter teaspoon, no more, of cayenne pepper. And so just the regular stuff that you might have in your pantry, you're gonna take that and you're gonna mix it all together. And you're gonna take a spoonful of that and eat it, but what you wanna do is put it in your mouth and kind of suck on the garlic. And that sounds gross, but the honey makes it taste really nice, so that's not so bad at all. So you'll just be sucking on the garlic, and what'll happen is the cayenne pepper is going to, it's an anti-inflammatory, but it's also gonna numb the soreness in your throat, so it's immediately gonna feel good. The honey um, has a lot of antibacterial stuff in it that's good for you, and so it will take away the, um, the bacteria and keep you healthy. And the garlic also is anti-inflammatory and will help um, get rid of the thing that's giving you the sore throat. So that's my second and but my most favorite thing to do. The other thing is the minute you feel a cold coming on to take this stuff. This is um, a homeopathic remedy called Cold Calm. You can get this at any pharmacy as well. And um, just follow the package instructions, but the minute you feel a cold coming on, start taking this stuff and it will you know, kind of bust out of your system in a day. When cold and flu season pop up, the best thing that you can do to prevent it, which I didn't do myself, <laughs> is to take uh, elderberry. And elderberry is a really good immune booster and it will keep you um, from getting colds and flus. And we've been really good about giving it to our son, but I've forgotten to take it myself. And so when he brought home his little cold bug, he didn't have a cold, I got it. So I definitely re recommend getting some elderberry syrup. You can get that anywhere, grocery stores, natural food stores, um, pharmacies as well. And then my final and the easiest thing that you could possibly do is eat an apple. An apple a day does keep the doctor away. My little guy eats one to two apples a day, rarely gets sick. Um, and if I would just follow suit, then I don't think I would have this cold or cough either. So I hope you enjoyed my tips. Talk to you soon. Bye.